right, so uh, first question, I guess we'll just start back at this end. First question is, what does your morning routine look like? Uh, that's awesome. So for me, the most important thing when I wake up is I smile, just because I think that's the most important thing. You wake up just feeling grateful, being proud for another day. Um, I like to go through a process first thing in the morning just to make sure that I'm at my best, whether that's asking myself certain questions, what am I happy about, what can I focus on, what can I give today, how can I become better, and I find just by asking those questions, it puts me in a great state so that I can be productive and do the best that I can in my business. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I love self-development, so everything from affirmations, uh, visualization, uh, vision boards, things, things like that are great, reading books, and uh, just planning out the day, and I find that you know, in terms of business, focusing on that highest leverage thing, the most important thing, um, you know, that one thing, as the book says, uh, just focusing on that one primary objective. If you can do that every day, just focus on one high leverage thing, then over a week or a month or a year, it's amazing what you can accomplish. Sweet. So, playing off the morning routine, what's an average workday look for you guys? Uh, so what I do now is much different than when I started because when I first started I was working in my business not on my business So I was doing everything uh, You know my focus was you know, applying as much as I could learning as much as I could and then at a certain point I, I learned that I could get further ahead just by fo focusing on fewer things and really focusing on the things that I'm good at and the things that only I can do that I enjoy so um, most of my day is the most important thing that I do in my business is create content, because that's what I love, is I, I enjoy that. Um, whether that's YouTube videos, recording videos, writing articles for a blog, and I use those channels to funnel into whatever you know, email list that I have or whatever product that I might be selling. So that's the main thing I do, also interviewing people, learning as much as I can, learning new ideas, strategies that I can implement into my business. And I also focus on trying to systematize as many things as possible. So once I you know, do, thing, uh, do, do something one time and I get good at it, I know it works, then I'm gonna try to find a way to automate that. So that could be having a virtual assistant, you know, like my customer support's automated now at this point, a lot of my social media is awesome, automated with Instagram, Facebook. Um, so that's a lot of my time every day is just um, learning strategies, systematizing it, and that is what has allowed me to scale up and grow. So now um, the next question is, if you were to start over in your business, what would you do differently to make yourself successful faster? Because a lot of these people are probably where you at, uh, where you were at maybe six months ago, a year ago, two years ago. Um, what would you do differently starting back over that would get you to where you're at now faster? I'd say the first thing, which all of you guys have already done, has uh, been finding and investing in a high quality course. Because when I first got started making money online and trying to explore this opportunity, I was just trying to do it all by myself. Uh, you know, looking online is, you know, trying to put all the pieces together and I found that to be very frustrating. Um, a lot of, you know, very time consuming and I failed a lot. You know, it took me years before I started making any money online. Um, so finding a good quality course and I think, you know, one step further than that would be finding a coach, a mentor, a mastermind group, um, surrounding yourself with the right people because that can just fast track you there much faster. And I kind of always use the analogy of, you know, if you're in the jungle and you're trying to get to a certain destination and you're trying to do it by yourself, then you're going to, you know, it's not going to be a very pleasurable experience. You're going to get lost. Uh, you know, you, you're, you know, it's dangerous. Certain things can happen. Whereas um, if you have a map, at least you can get there a lot faster, but it, faster, but if you actually have a coach or a mentor that can hold your hand and guide you through the process and, and help you avoid all the, the failures, the pitfalls, all the pain that you know, a lot of people have to go through, then you can get, definitely get there a lot faster. So sometimes it's worth it um, to invest the money to get there faster and avoid all the pain, discouragement, and all that stuff that you have to go through. So each of you have had tremendous success, you know, but there, it was never just slowly going up and up. There had to be a point where it kind of just all of a sudden, wow, you know, this was a game-changing moment. What was it in your business? What's one thing that you can look back at and say it's when this started happening? It could be a strategy you started doing. It could be a focus on customer support, something. What was a key moment in your business that you noticed a huge transformation? Uh, the biggest thing that helped me grow to the next level was making the switch 
from being a business operator to a business owner, and I kind of described that of building a team, outsourcing, system, systematizing things, because that would all of a sudden free up my time to focus on the things that matter, the things that are really important. So that was probably one of the biggest things. I'll share one more thing um, that really helped me personally was with goal setting. The moment when I started making my goals public and publicly declaring them, what that did for me is kind of interesting because I have a blog and YouTube and even on Facebook with my friends is I would publicly declare, this is my goal, this is what I want to make happen, this is the deadline. And by doing that, it was actually very uncomfortable and scary because you know, usually you're just accountable to yourself. And so if you don't fall through on your goal, it's not that big of a deal. But if you're publicly declaring it to other people, it creates more of this urgency and this pressure. And I found that that took me to a whole new level in terms of my productivity motivation because all of a sudden it was a must. And when something's a must, you'll find a way. And if you can't find the way, then you'll make the way. So I found that to be a, a pretty powerful shift in terms of me being able to achieve a lot more in my life. All right, so we are out of time, but who would like to hear their answer to what advice they would give you that would guarantee you would double your business? <laughs> Not to put y'all on the spot or anything. So what advice would you have someone sitting in the audience that would guarantee they would double their business over the next six months, assuming they're producing sales now? If you had to put your best bet on it, like this was, you had one thing you could tell them and this was your one thing, what would that be? For me personally, kind of going back to what I said, I would, I would say, I, I think the biggest thing that will get you there to double your business isn't some sort of marketing strategy or technique. It's more so you as a resource and what you're capable of becoming more resourceful. So going back, you know, if it's within six months, declaring that, believing that, setting that as a goal. And it's amazing, you know, when your back's against the wall, how resourceful that you actually become. Because oftentimes we have excuses and these beliefs of I don't have the time, the money, or whatever it is. But if, if someone had a gun in your head, you would find a way, you know? So I would say just kind of going back to what I said, you know, if you can find a way to make it a must and say, this is what I want six months from now to double my business. And, you know, kind of one more thing I'll maybe add is, I heard this from Jim Rohn a long time ago, is to work harder on yourself than on your job. The more that you grow as a person, the more you're investing in you and your capacity to be able to add value, to be able to have more success in your life. So that'd probably be the, be the biggest thing. So let's give him a big round of applause. Yeah, get up, get up. Good job, man. Thank you. Hey, this is Stefan, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, then please hit the like button below, leave a comment to let us know what you think, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. Now, if you want to take your life to the next level, then I want to offer you a free gift. It's called my Life Mastery Toolkit, and it literally has the best of the best of what I have to offer in terms of videos, articles, and resources for taking your life to the next level and living an extraordinary life. To get access to this, all you have to do is click the link that will appear right here on this video, or if you're on a mobile device, then click the link in the description below, and then head on over to that page, enter your email address, and I'll send you immediate access to the Life Mastery Toolkit. I want to thank you again for watching this video. Until the next one, I'll talk to you soon.